back again. Journal journey, writing prompt number 50. Wow, 50. Yeah, if you haven't yet, please check out my comic book, Flintlocked. It is available on Amazon. Um, just search Flintlocked, and it'll be the first thing to come up. And you can buy that in Kindle or paperback form. But uh, we're going to jump into writing prompt number 50, which is... What is the best thing you can do for yourself right now? Um, for this, I'm, I'm picking something that's not necessarily I have to do only at like this moment right now, but like in general, something I've had to do for pushing on 10 years now, which is take better care of my health. Um, I've been doing my best. I uh, was actually doing real well pre-COVID, um, I have been seeing a trainer, personal trainer, about once a week, now moving to twice a week, but for shorter periods, um, been trying to slow my intake when it comes to animal products and try to ease up on dairy when I can, I'm not going full vegan or anything, but trying to ease up on those things. But yeah, it's um it's a real struggle. It's uh you know, some people struggle with alcohol, some struggle with drugs or smoking. Uh, my struggle is food. You know, it's very easy for me to snack. Uh very easy for like if I'm getting free food, like if someone bought pizza or something to overeat and um yeah, it's it's honestly I wish that they can create um, just pills. Pills that'll just be the healthiest intake for my body at that period. And, you know, obviously there are pills you could take. There's like powders and all that shit and shakes you can do. Um, but it's not always the best for you. I think if there was, in fact, pills that could just be my meals throughout the day and say I only had to drink water. You know, maybe I could sprinkle in coffee or like sports drink or something. You know, I think I, I think I could do it because that's the main problem for me when it comes to overeating is the fact that I have to eat. You know, um, sure, I don't have to eat the quantities I do, but if I didn't have to eat, then it would be easier for me to control. Um, you know, smokers, eventually, you can quit. You know, drinking, you can quit. In some ways, like you, you can just give those up. I can't quit food. Um, and I know that's just an excuse, but it's something I really want to work on. I really should do for myself because, you know, I am 28 and, um, you know, approaching 30. And as I'm getting older, it's going to be a little bit harder to recover from being overweight and such. And so I'm really hoping, um, you know, I can get back on track. I lost, uh, like pushing 20 pounds before COVID and unfortunately with the lockdowns happened, not leaving the house much, um, walking a lot less, it, it, it kind of affected me and I gained pretty much almost all of it back. Something that, um, you know, unfortunately it's easier said than done. It's easy to have good days and then just fall off and have bad days and then go back to good days and then it just like, you know, with my metabolism, it's just not good enough to have good and bad. You know, I need to um, be consistent. And so, yeah, that's something I am really know I need to do for myself is to lose weight and get into better shape, which we all say. We, say, we all say it for New Year's resolutions. We all say, but I really need to do it um, because it's the biggest struggle of my life, and so I need to make it a priority. But um, that is writing prompt number 50, and I'll be doing 51.